Hello everyone, a couple of months ago I put a video out explaining how to do a floating anima animation, but without the hand. Um, now I had a great question on that video a couple of days ago from someone called Franklin who asked, is there any way to adjust the float to also move left and right to create a somewhat circular effect? Well good news there is, it's quite simple and in this video we'll go over how to do it. Okay so I'm using Sonora as an example, it's still got all its demo content in so if we just scroll down the home page we've got some icons now i'm just going to apply for an example i'm just going to apply the animation to this icon on the right hand side so first i need to get the idea of this so to do that i go to squarespace block slash collection identifier pretty sure if you've watched any of my videos in the past you've heard me mention this but i'll leave a link to it in the description if you've not already downloaded it for chrome so if we just click on the block identifier and then we just want to come down we just want to click on this block to get its id we'll shut that down and then i'm going to come across to design advanced just to keep us on our toes squarespace have moved where you'd access the css so i'm just going to click on this custom css let's open this in a new window and we'll drag it over by the element so we can see the animation take place as we work through the code so if we just paste our block id in space a couple of squiggly brackets down the line and then i'm going to put hyphen webkit hyphen animation colon circle and then 12s. I'm going to start off with 12s. This refers to the amount of time that it takes for the animation to complete. So we'll start with 12 and then we can adjust it later on if we need to. Then I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to go linear, space, infinite, semicolon. Okay, so from this second hyphen to the end to the semicolon, I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to come down the line. I'm going to put hyphen moz paste the line and we've just copied, come down the line, gonna go hyphen O, again, paste the line in, and then I'm just gonna come down and paste it. And then what we're gonna do is remove this first hyphen. So it just says animation. Okay, so we're done in that part now. If we come down outside of these squiggly brackets and I'm gonna put at hyphen webkit, hyphen keyframes, and then space, circle, couple of squiggly brackets, and then I'm going to put from, more squiggly brackets, and then I'm going to leave a space, and then I'm going to put a hyphen webkit, hyphen transform, colon, rotate, normal brackets, and then we want to put zero, deg, come outside of them brackets now, I'm going to leave a space, and then I'm going to put translate, capital X, more normal brackets, we want to put 10px, 10px, not 20px. Okay, come outside of them brackets. I'm going to put rotate again. More normal brackets, and then I'm going to put zero deg. And then a semicolon. Okay, so if we just grab all this and copy it, I'm going to come down the line. I'm going to put two. Paste that in. And we just want to change zero deg to 360, the first zero deg that is. And then the last one under rotate we want to put minus 360 you see there's already a bit of movement going on now what we'll do now is just copy our list just to set it up for other browsers we're going to come down paste that in we'll change webkit to moz on this line come down paste we're going to change this to o And then down another line, and we just want to remove webkit hyphen hyphen. So we just have a keyframes circle. Hit save. And there you can see we've got a bit of circular movement going on now. As I said earlier in the video, we could adjust the speed of this. So we could change this to a higher or a lower value depending on how you want it to look. So if we just change this to one, you see that it starts going a bit crazy. <laughs> um, if we change it to... 30. Obviously it'll take a lot longer for the animation than to complete. So it's just a case of fine tuning this to how you want it to look on your site. I'm just going to keep that at 12. And also you can adjust the amount of area that it covers by adjusting this 10px. So let's say we put that up to 50 and 50. You'll see that it's covered and then a lot bigger area. 
So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you're not already, please do subscribe for more stuff like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya. But the only reason that this only comes out as a prop for explaining about animations because I'm absolutely rubbish at flying it.